Welcome to Tim Comes Tastings. Today uh, we've got um, something a little different from wine. This time we're going to be tasting some beer at the uh, behest of my co-worker. I was told apparently that uh, my tasting wine was uh, somewhat detracting from my uh, from the masculine factor. So in order to truly prove that I am a man, grr, I was supposed to taste some beer. <laughs> so here we go. I've got uh, some... Shiner Commemorator. Uh, now, many of you here in Texas are, I'm sure, already familiar with Shiner. Um, Shiner makes a Bach that uh, is quite uh, renowned here, at least in Central Texas. Um, but when I was at my grocery store local, uh, recently, rather, um, I saw uh, this lovely new product, uh, Shiner Commemorator. Apparently, it is uh, commemorating 100 years of uh, the. Uh, Shiner Brews coming out of the Spetzel Brewery there in Shiner, Texas. And um, since this is 2009, uh, they actually started out in 1909. So uh, they've been around for 100 years now. So uh, meanwhile, this is Shiner Commemorator. I'm going to open this here on cam. Um, let's see if I can put that there. And uh, we'll try and open this here for you. It is twist off, which I am thoroughly enjoying. There it is, and uh, we'll pour this into a glass for you. I'll pick that back up here, and uh, this is my lovely beer stein that I got in uh, in Munich. I'll pour some Shiner Commemorator into this here, and as you can see, it's sort of a lovely amber color. It does uh, produce a lovely tan head. Um, and I have had Shiner Bach before, but uh, this is the first six-pack of Shiner Commemorator that I have tried. Um, as you can tell, it's got a nice thick head, but it does uh, fairly rapidly dissipate. Um, but here we go. I'll try that for you here. All right, here. All right. <laughs> Yeah, this is my Spatenstein. I got that, as I mentioned, in Munich uh, when I was there um, about, uh, what has it been now, 15 years ago? God. Um, anyway, uh, here we go. It smells like beer. Uh, it's not exceptionally hoppy. It's a little bit caramel, which is kind of fun. It's a little bit, um, it's, it doesn't quite taste, it smell like the Bach. Uh, that I'm familiar with from from uh, Shiner, but it's uh, it is a little reminiscent of that, but it's not exactly like that uh, It is a little caramel a Little bit of hop, but not too much um, It smells like a beer <laughs> Let's try that as you can tell it's sort of a, a lovely almost kind of uh, amber red sort of a little bit um, it, it's kind of pretty. And the, the head does stick around a little bit. It's not quite as thick as it was when I first poured it into the glass, but uh, we'll try that here for you. <laughs> Alright. That's not so bad. That's it's, It is a little cold still. It just came out of my fridge a while ago. It does taste a little bit toasty. Um... And uh, it's got a nice texture on it. It's not too thin and not too thick. Um, it's not bad, actually. It's pretty tasty. And it does taste a, a lot of toast, a little bit of caramel. Um, and it, it's not overly hoppy. It's not, in fact, very hoppy at all. Um, but it's, it's nice, actually. It's kind of refreshing and, uh, kind of tasty. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. And, uh, this is the, uh, Shiner Commemorator. Let's see if I can... Show you this bottle, that's Commemorator. 
<laughs> commemorating 100 years of the Spetzel Brewery making Shiner in Shiner, Texas. Again, this is uh, Tim Comes Tastings, and that was my first beer. <laughs> Thanks for watching.